excuse the noise in the background. I'm, I'm outside, so it's a little noisy. But uh, Wendy's going to elaborate on cleaning our two kitchen for health. Yeah. Um, so anyways, when I get people in uh, to the gym all the time, a lot of the things that they tell me is, you know, their kitchens are set up a certain way because they've got kids or, you know, the husband likes things a certain way, whatever. Um, and when you're talking about fitness for yourself, it's for yourself. It's not for other people. So you've got to kind of set up your kitchen for success. Um, so why do you do a kitchen makeover? Um, I always tell people, basically, it's a fresh start. So if you're starting this, this is a new journey. You don't want old stuff in your kitchen. So you want basically a clean say, uh, slate, um, and you're, you're pretty much making your, your ugly duckling into the beautiful swan that it needs to be. So you have a few things that you'll want to do. Um, basically, I tell people, go through your kitchen. And I've actually done this for people. I've actually had clients that were so confused on what to do. I went to their house with garbage bags. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, so what, what I do is I tell them, go through your cupboards, and anything in your cupboards that's processed, um, junk food, um, you know, canned stuff with more than just a couple ingredients that aren't clean, you're going to want to get rid of that stuff. So what I tell people is go through, take all their stuff, like their chunky soups, their ho-hos, their pre-made pastas, all that stuff, put it in a bag, take it down to the uh, local, you know, homeless shelter or wherever and just get rid of it. I mean, I know people say, I don't want to throw it away. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of money. Um, well, it's like, yeah, it's a lot of money, but is it a lot of money for you to go to the doctor? Cause now you're diabetic or, you know, you're going, cause now you have, you know, some kind of disease because you're overweight. So I always tell people just, just get rid of it. So, so it's $300 out the door. That's a $300 out the door. That's well, it needs to be out the door. Um, so basically, <laughs> I mean, really, if it's in your kitchen, sooner or later, you're going to eat it, right? Yeah, I right, mean, right. so you might, you, might, you might say, you know, it's a ho-ho, you know, I'm not going to eat it, you know, and your kid's going to piss you off one day and you're going to go in there and you're going to eat the damn ho-ho. So get rid of the ho-hos. Um, anyways, uh, you're, you're, people sit there and like I said, they say they, they hate wasting food. They bought it. It was on special. My kids eat it. Great, your kids eat it. Uh, what I used to do when my daughter was younger, and she didn't eat a lot of junk food anyways, but the stuff that she had that I didn't want to get hold of, she had her own little cupboard, and it was down by her where she could reach it. I never saw it. I was like, put your stuff in there. Um, my husband and I still have separate cupboards. I have my cupboard with all my super organic clean foods, and then he's got his with his clean foods, but I still want to mess up around every, you know, occasionally. He'll put his stuff away where I can't see it. So if he has cheese, it's they're out of sight, out of mind. I don't have to worry about it. So make yourself up your own little cupboard. You don't have to be in everybody else's stuff. Um, and I know it's hard. It really is hard. But you know, if if you're not if you're gonna eat non-nutritious foods that aren't doing anything for you, then you're wasting your time anyways, right? So you want to replace the junk. After that, if you get everything out, you're going to go and you're going to replace the junk with healthy foods. And kind of uh, what I do is I categorize them. So you've, you've got, <laughs> you've got a lot of activity over there, don't you? <laughs> yeah, a lot. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, so you've got, you know, you can have like, um, so you, so once you learn your macros and you start mm -hmm. eating that way, you know when you go to a certain spot, those are where your carbs are at. You don't have to think about it. You want to get everything in order so you're going to guarantee success. Um, so basically what you're doing with the kitchen make makeover is you're lining your way up for success without having to think about it too much. Um, some other things that I do, like I said, besides the separate cupboards, is make sure you have the proper utensils, um, the proper things to make your food, a food processor, Rice cookers are awesome. I mean, if you're going to eat, you know, the brown rice or the wild rice, preferably, um, you can get a rice cooker and, you know, you know, that's your carbs. That's your cup of carbs. You put it in there, you, you know, put the water in, push the button. You've got your rice for the week. You don't have to come home and go, oh my God, I got to make rice. I got to do this. I got to do that. It's all done. Um, Get your containers to prepare your foods, to put them in so that when you do come home again, you pull it out, that's your dinner. You take one day a week, you meal prep, 
you've got your clean kitchen now, and you're good to go. Uh, well, um, I have a quick question. Uh, you talked about the um, about the rice cooker. What about the? Uh, you know, some people like fry food. What about the air fryer? Do you uh, suggest uh, no. if, if someone's uh, likes fry food? What do you suggest about yeah. the air fryer? I've never used one myself. I have clients that swear by them. Okay. They say that, you know, you know, if that's what you like, I don't, you know, I'm not into fried food, so. Okay, okay. But, I mean, as far as healthy-wise, they're a lot healthier than frying stuff, that's for sure. Okay, okay. Just, just wanted know. to ask that question. I have an air fryer at home. I, I tend to use it sometimes, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, I mean, th there's a lot of tricks to things that you could do, but those are the basic, I mean, the, the basic thing you want to do is get the junk out of the house. Yeah. Get it out of the house, and then, I mean, you still have to deal with the husband wants this, the kids want that, you know, I have to cook for them, you know, I used to cook three separate meals when my, when my daughter was little. My husband wanted one thing. I was a vegetarian. He wanted a steak, and my daughter had allergies. I cooked three separate meals. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah, and I worked two jobs, so I, you know, you people say, oh, yeah, people say, oh, I'm too busy. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so, I mean, either you want it or you don't. But right, right. If you, uh, preparing you want your it, kitchen, of course, is Yeah, it. yeah. But, for, you know, getting your kitchen ready for success, you know, that's right there is huge. I mean, if you walk into your kitchen the first day, and I always tell people when I give them my plan that um, don't even start it until they've talked to me. They go through the rules and they have everything. I mean, everything down to the seasonings ready to go. Because if you're not ready, you're going to screw up on day one. So going through your kitchen and get rid of, getting rid of everything. I mean, literally, if a if a quarter of a bag of chips is in your kitchen, and you're on day four, you know how it is. Day four, you're going, oh my god, if I could just make it one more day, I know I got this. And that bag of chips is staring you in the face. And you know what? You're gonna eat the chips. Yeah. Now you screwed up. Now you start all over. So. Yeah, you are. You are. Um, I have another question. Yeah. Um, as you're as you're cleaning out your kitchen. You're getting more foods. Uh, what do you suggest? More organic food? Well, you know, organic's always best. Um, what they say about the rule of organic is if it's like a meat, you know, you want to, you know, protein, you want to get organic. Um, with fruits and vegetables, if it's something like a banana where you're going to peel okay. the, the wrapper off of it, an orange peel, unless you're going to use like orange zest. But if you're not going to eat the rind or the peel or whatever, and you're just going to the inside, then or you really don't have to go organic. But if it's something like a green pepper or lettuce, where you're actually eating where they've been spraying, yes, then you want to go organic. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. Didn't know and that, as far as the meat, fruits. yeah, meat's definitely organic, and fish, um, wild caught, not farm raised. Okay. So. Yeah, farm raised, they put a lot of pesticides, chemicals. Some of those fish are even, you know, raised in human feces. So it's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. And it's hard to find. I mean, you every every piece of fish you pick up is gonna be Thailand, Vietnam. You don't you don't know where that's coming from, so I just don't even bother buying it. Yeah. Salmon salmon from Canada, that's about it. <laughs> So, and you got to watch the tuna fish because they put soy in it now. Oh, I didn't you know, know that. that? Yeah, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, you got got to watch your labels. They started doing that, I think, about two, three years ago. I noticed that, you know, it should be tuna fish and water, maybe some salt at soy. Unless you're buying a can of tuna fish that's cost like two, two fifty. Yes. All the stuff that's eighty nine, ninety nine cents has soy in it. Okay. And you know, if you got to stay away from soy, like people that have breast cancer. You know, any kind of hormonal issue, you know, it could create a problem. Yeah, yeah, it could, it could. So, yeah. All right. Read um, your label. <laughs> <laughs> Got to. <laughs> you have to. Um, I don't say, do you have any questions? We don't have too many people on right now. So if you're watching the replay, leave your questions in the comments. Um, Wendy or I will come back and um, answer your questions. Do you have uh, anything else to add, Miss Wendy? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, hey guys, um, and you know, I know Will's not going to tell you this, but he's working on a website now, and he's going to have his awesome, awesome, awesome nutrition plan up there for you guys soon. So, you know, watch out for that. I know, I know, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm working on it, so hopefully, I'll have it up beginning of next week. Uh, you guys can check it out. Um, I'll be putting the link up and stuff like that later on. Um, also, Wendy, if you want to plug your stuff in. Yeah, I'll do it on mine. <laughs> okay. Let's work on yours first. Okay. Yeah. Hey, guys, Will Will is awesome. He'll get you in shape with no problem. He can do it online or in the studio, whatever. You know, you don't you don't have to be in the same state with him to, to get it done or with me, you know. We work, you know, it's all international online nowadays. Yes. So I've got, you know, I know I've got people, I don't know about you, but I've got people from California to the New Jersey shores. I mean, they're all over the place. Okay. All right. Well, well, thank you. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> it's the truth, you know. So, um, I guess we don't have any questions. Like I said, if you, um, if you're watching the replay, Please leave your comments or questions in the in the comment section. Me or Wendy will get back to you. And um, we'll be doing another live this week. I'm not sure what day yet or, or the subject, but I will be posting it. Uh, pretty sure Wendy will be posting it too. So until next time, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming on, Wendy. Talk to you later. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>